Today is February 5th. Today's quote is entitled, Indifferent to the Holy Names. If the desire to accumulate wealth, enjoy the association of women, name and fame, to cheat others and to seek victory over defeat, exist in one's heart that will naturally make one indifferent to chanting the Lord's holy names. So this seems like a really straightforward and simple understanding that if I have strong material attachments, then I become indifferent to the holy name. And so it is. It is simple. We can all understand it. But we need to be reminded of this because I'm sure in your practice of chanting japa, sometimes you become indifferent. And when you reflect on it, you may realize that the indifference often comes from some excessive attachment to something that we shouldn't be attached to, or just a kind of weakness of heart, a, a lack of inspiration, a, a lack of a very strong desire to be Krishna conscious. So, so Bhakti Thakur, he's explaining how this indifference comes as material attachment increases. And of course, we're in the material world, so it's very easy to become attached to things. And sometimes it's very subtle. But I think the quality of our japa can be used as a barometer to reflect on the nature of our spiritual life. And if we're not really sincerely praying, begging, strongly desiring to become pure devotees while we're chanting Hare Krishna, it does say something about the state of our consciousness and it may therefore say something about the state of our attachments. And maybe we're allowing ourselves to become materially infected in a way that is somewhat making us indifferent to chanting the holy names. So it's just, it's just something to reflect on. If I'm chanting and I'm not sincerely begging, really, really wanting to be Krishna conscious, at that moment I'm chanting in relation with Krishna because he's there in the holy name. And I should be begging for something pure. I should be begging for these things in my heart which are getting in the way of my Krishna consciousness. Two, come out. And if I'm not doing that, it may say something about the overall state of my Krishna consciousness, that something's lacking, indifference has set in. Indifference is uh, the tenth offense. It's an aspect of inattention. Maybe I'm lazy. Maybe I don't care enough and so forth. So, if this is happening to you, or if this ever happens to you, just take it as some feedback that, that because I'm not really sincerely praying as much as I should, then uh, let me reflect on my spiritual life in general and let's see where I need to work on. Or right there in that moment when I'm chanting, let me, let me increase the intensity in prayer so that um, I'm more sincerely begging Krishna.